Mom? Interior apartment day. Weetzi rushes in to find Brandy Lynn sobbing on the couch. What happened? I told him to take better care of himself. He never listened. What is it? Is it Daddy? Weetzi sits down and puts her arms around her mother. They lean their heads together. Grief is not something you know if you have a Charlie Chaplin boyfriend, a Dirk, and a duck, and a slingster dog, feathers to wear, and a movie to dance in. You can feel sad when your dad moves to another city, or an old lady dies, or your boyfriend goes away. But grief is different. Weetzie's heart cringed in her like a dying animal before the needle full of poison. Weetzie returns to her seat on the bed, closes her eyes, and rubs the lamp. Could you please, please, please bring back my secret agent lover man and Dirk and Duck? I really need them, especially now. The lamp begins to emit black smoke. Weetzie Bat, what do you think you're doing? But none of my wishes came true the way that I wanted. Beefy died, and then Duck and Dirk left, and my secret agent lover man was never my secret agent lover man. Now my dad... You ruined my vacation. <laughs> Enough deus ex machina for you, young lady. Deus <laughs> what? God from the machine, where something godlike <laughs> intervenes and solves the problem like that. He snaps his fingers, then looks surprised. He hadn't meant to yet. That was just for effect, but he's gone. You have to learn to make your own wishes come true. The rather amorphous shape of a man wearing a pale pink suit. Hold on, this is a brief. How do you know that? Because I want to see you so much. I made this happen. That's exactly why it is real. But why are you here? Because I want to see you so much, too. Weetzie sits down on her bed and puts her face in her hands. When she looks up, there are tears pouring down her cheeks. Why did you die? I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, why did you leave us in the first place? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I just, I did some things when you were little that I couldn't make right. And I didn't want to hurt either of you anymore. But you did hurt us. looking for happily ever after. Well, every little girl wants that. I made too many wishes. But there was really one thing, only one thing I really wanted. And that is? Are you a lover? I loved you from the day you were born. But not the way I wanted you to. How? Oh. I did the best I could, though. Now, we start making the last wish come true. No more deus ex machina. What's that? I don't know. The <laughs> don't worry. This is all of you. It's just a tiny bit out He leans over and whispers something into her ear. Interior, Vic Sands house, night. Vic Sand dressed as the wicked witch of the west is lying on her divan, heavily drugged. There's a knock on the door. One of the Janes goes to answer it and sees Wheatsy standing there. Where are they? Jane! Jane! And Jane! <laughs> Big Sam tries to get up but can't manage it. Wheatsy runs to my secret agent lover man. He looks at her blankly, doesn't seem to recognize her. Do you remember her, Mac? You can take the other two, but this one stays with me. You already took the most important man away from me. She looks at my secret agent lover man. His eyes are glazed. She kisses him on the lips and turns to go. Dirk and Duck follow her. 
Wheat see and Dirk and Duck, heads lowered against the wind and the rain, run out of the house. Vixan stands framed in the arched doorway. The wind whips around her, blowing the wig of long black hair off her head. She's completely bald underneath. She laughs manically. <laughs> running down the path. It's my secret agent, Love Man. Weetzie takes her hand and pulls him through the gate. I didn't even think of you. I want to fall in love with Dave Moss. I think I can fall in love with Marilyn. You're right. I didn't even give us a chance to get to know each other. We can do that now. She called me Max. That is my name. <laughs> Early, I'm crazy. No, baby, you're Hollywood. <laughs> I'm sorry that I said that about your heart, too. When you left. That's okay. Sometimes I think it's true. You know, we see, I don't like to talk about my childhood, but it was really bad. You didn't tell me anything. I didn't want to feel things anymore. Pretty soon, I guess I sort of stop. <gasps> I can hear something beating in here. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something out there. They look toward the open window. Fifi's lovebirds fly into the room and hover around their heads. So, what's it like? I feel like a Christmas present. Yeah, what else? An Easter basket, a cat or a kitten. Mm. So have you thought of any names for him? She's a girl. Well, how do you know that? I'm a daughter maker. Okay. <laughs> so have you thought of any names for her? Cherokee Peach. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a bad name. <laughs> you are my secret agent lover man. Mm. Maybe I'll call you Max sometime. For special. And you know what you are, right? An overly loquacious baby with a baby? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're on my Hollywood and miniature pink Cadillac, Marilyn movie screen. He carries her into the bedroom. Interior, Dirk and Duck's room, day. Sounds like the trouble in paradise is resolved. Knock on the door. Good morning, guys. Can I cuddle? Sure. I flipped out when you left. Me too. Can I tell you guys something? Of course, honey. Talk to us. I never thought I would hear you all say that. I love the things you say. You do? Of course. Well, dude, I feel like a dummy so much all the time. <laughs> There's only one dummy in this house. And he's the one that you keep on backwards so that he doesn't keep you awake. But he keeps me awake. <laughs> Duck takes off Hattie Judy and tosses him across the room. What do you want to tell us, Ducky? Oh. <laughs> then I'm sorry, too. I should have told you where I was going. We would have gone with you. I know. I was so scared when I saw him like that, I... <clears throat> I couldn't face anything. Even I. Especially you. Dude, if something like that could happen to Bam Bam, it can happen to anyone. Even my first friend. It is your friend. He isn't dead, Ducky. <laughs> no, he's not, but he will be. Everyone will be someday. Oh, okay. Listen, I don't know how to live in a world where, where love and everything could just become death like that. We both tested negative. Yeah, but Bam wasn't that lucky. I know. You visit him every day. Sometimes I just I just want to run away and just say fuck it all and just be alone. All I know is we're supposed to be together. I know. My blood. And so are you. And even my secret agent lover man. <laughs> Your 
Secret agent lover man. <laughs> no, you're my secret agent yeah, lover man. Get it right, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the lovebirds fly into the room and perch on the headboard behind Weetzy, Dirk, and Duck. Thank you. Thank you. You definitely, you've affected so many people's lives. 